Hey guys, so welcome back again to my DevOps learning journey. And this is kind of week two, but I've decided to change things a little bit. Uh, previous, the first video was actually full of all sort of different stuff. And it was basically 40 minutes long. And based on the YouTube analytics, that's not something you really enjoy to consume. So I made a decision to make videos like less packed, shorter, about a smaller topics, but at the end you get more videos. So just to recap where I am, I've installed Alma Linux on my WSL2 on my Windows, no virtual machines, no Docker desktop, which also requires a license if you use it on your work computers. I'm going a full native WSL, which gives me lightweight, fast Linux experience without leaving Windows. And the reason I'm doing all this is very simple. I just want to build some DevOps skills in a way that they are used in the real project, which means that using actual CLI, managing services manually, and understanding what's going on under the hood, not just clicking all sort of different buttons. And the plan for this video is actually to walk you through on installing Docker on your Alma Linux inside WSL version 2 environment. What we're also going to do is we're going to test all the setup with one simple just example container that we're going to spin up in our Docker. If you're also spinning up your environments, we're just curious of how it works. Sit down, grab some tea, coffee and enjoy a couple of minutes of learning. If you do find this helpful, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos. And if you have some questions, feel free to post them in the comments. So here we have my Alma Linux on WSL2. So if you want to start a new one, you just uh, click not the plus button that opens the PowerShell, but this little arrow down and you will find Alma Linux 9 if you followed my first video about um, starting the, the DevOps journey. So you should have it. So the next step is definitely a good thing to do is update Alma Linux. It's kind of not, not mandatory, but always good to have your system up to date as soon as it is possible. So what we need to do is type sudo, uh, make sure that you don't have any extra characters here, sudo dnf uh, dnf update and minus y to just uh, confirm everything automatically that is going to take some time to finish and then we're going to do sudo dnf install minus y dnf plugins minus core uh, make sure that you don't have any typos so dnf not dng and dependencies resolve completed this one is done and the next step for us is to actually add the Docker official repository. That's the place from which we're going to download uh, our Docker. We're on Alma Linux 9, which also basically is the same RHEL 9. So uh, we are safe here. So what we need is open our WSL. And then we just need to uh, do this command, DNF config manager, add the repo and the link to the actual repository that you want to add. If you are not running on Alma Linux, perhaps you have Ubuntu or something else, then you just pick the repository link to the correct uh, distribution of the Linux that you have. And after that, click enter. That's a quick operation, so it's already done. When we have added repository, we're safe to proceed with installing the actual components, the actual packages. And for that, you need to type uh, lowercase sudo dnf install again minus y to confirm everything that we're going to be downloading and what we need is a docker community edition docker community edition cli container uh, container dot uh, container d dot io and docker build x plugin and docker compose plugin that should be it. So click enter and uh, unable to find container d.io typo container 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 like this. Click enter. This is going to take some time. And after this is done, we can continue with the next steps. So we have everything related to the Docker installed. And then as far as it goes to the starting Docker engine, it's actually worth to notice that system D isn't enabled by default in WSL. So you need some kind of the workaround. Basically, it means that every time you are starting your WSL session, you kind of need to automatically start all the services that you're planning to use in this session, which in this case is going to be um docker right so what we can do is just type systemctl start docker i think this should be good so docker is started uh system we can check with the systemctl status docker and there we go it's active and running but every time 
we start a new session in our WSL, again, we will have to start our Docker service. So if you play around with some sort of container and then everything works and then you go to sleep and turn everything off and in the morning you try to run it again, but for some reason you are unable to start your container, it's likely because your Docker engine is not running and you need to start it manually. So now when all of our services are downloaded, repositories added and the services and applications are downloaded and the Docker is up and running, we can test that everything works by just running the example container uh, docker run and hello dash world this should do the job so unable to find image hello world then what it's done it uh, downloads it and uh, there we go the container started this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly to generate this message docker took the following step steps the docker client contacted the docker daemon docker daemon pulled the hello world image from the docker hub Docker daemon created a new container from that image which runs the executable that produces the output you're currently reading, so the text, and the Docker daemon streamed that output to the Docker client which sent it to your terminal. So now we're kind of set and we have a Docker running in our WSL2 on our Alma Linux. And for next video, I think we're going to try to create some sort of Docker container ourselves, not just... Uh, running the hello world one so so that's kind of it for this one thank you guys for watching and uh see you later